A former LPSS superintendent is still waiting for his $700,000 payment five years after winning a lawsuit against the school district. News 10's Zane Hogue joins us now live to find out why Dr. Pat Cooper is finally speaking out. Darla, here in Lafayette, Dr. Pat Cooper has waited five years for his $700,000 payment from the school board. Most people thought that after I won the case, which was pretty well publicized, that, that Lafayette School Board paid me, but in fact, for whatever reason, they did not. And it has continued to generate interest uh, to the tune of about $140,000. And that's coming out of taxpayer money, not uh, insurance, because they chose not to use their insurance company when um, I first filed suit. Cooper filed suit against the Lafayette Parish School Board in 2014 after being fired for following new laws that gave more power to his office. Act 1 was a, a bill in the legislature that essentially switched the powers uh, from the board to the superintendent. And I was the first superintendent to actually exercise that those, those powers. I got fired uh, after a lot of internal strife as we struggled to decide you know, how we were going to work out this new law. And when I chose to follow the law, as it was stated by the legislature, then I got fired. The lawsuit filed by Cooper would lead to a multi-year legal battle ending in favor of Dr. Cooper in 2017. The ruling was put down. I won the case and, you know, I should have been paid for at least that salary and the, um, and the benefits. School board refused to do that. And so this has continued on for about five more years. Cooper says he is reaching out, not out of bitterness, but with hopes to put this situation to rest. And there's no one vendettas here. It's just business at this point. So all I'm asking now is that they go ahead and they, they make the payment. We, we feel like the public has not known for every day that goes by, that's more of a tax liability for them. And um, I know everybody wants to get this behind us. I know I do. I have no bitterness. I, you know, I have no, um, no ulterior motive other than I would like to just get this done and get it out of the way so I can start my life again. Cooper adds members of the public have reached out to the school board in regards to the payment but are still waiting on a response. In Lafayette, I'm Zane Hogue for KLFY News 10.